Hi, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my workshop. So it's been a little while since I've done a resin casting video, so I thought it was about time I did one. So today I'm going to have a go at trying to recreate a kind of a marble effect. That's what I'm aiming for. Never tried this before, so let's see if it's going to work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got my beaker and I've got my resin. I'm going to measure out 300 milliliters of each and stir it together. Once I've done that, we'll come back and have a look at what we're going to do, separating out and adding some colour. I'm mixing it by volume because this is amazing clear cast from Illumilite and it's an epoxy and it goes by volume and not by weight. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, so that's it all stirred together. So now I'm going to decant some into these little smaller plastic cups. Try and do it without spilling it. Right, so with the with the bigger cup, I'm going to take some aluminite white dye and just put a couple of drops of that in. Give it a little stir together. I've decided, I think I might have pulled out too much of the clear, so I'm going to put a bit more of the clear back in and mix that with the white. Now we can start to look at the colours. Now, for the first colour, I'm going to use the Caster's Choice White Pearl. I don't need too much of that, just a little bit off the end of the spatula. Oops, just dropped the white on the floor. I'm just going to add a little bit of the white dye. I only want a tiny little smidgen, so I'm not even going to put a drop in. Just put a little bit in off the end of the stick. Just mix that in. All right, put that to one side, and let's look at the next colour. So for that, it's going to be the silver. And the final colour, we're going to use the Black Pearl. I'm just keeping my eye on the temperatures. Because I don't want it to get too hot. I want to leave it a few minutes because I want to keep them separation on the colour. That's 32 degrees centigrade. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit. 30.9, in fact I can have a look, 87.4 at the moment. So I'm just going to keep stirring them individually and when it gets to about 50 degrees centigrade, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit but I'll let you know in a bit, then I will mix them all back into the main pot, put it in a mould and then we'll get it in the pressure pot. Okay so it's around 40 degrees now which is about 102 I think Fahrenheit. So I'm going to start put in my first colour. Now I want to really you should want to leave this a little bit longer but this is starting to get a little bit thick and I'd rather put it in early than ruin wasting all the resin. So I'm going to start I'm going to go back to front so I'm going to go with the darkest first. So this is the black. And all I'm going to do is just pour it straight into the middle. So it's around 45 degrees now, which is 111 Fahrenheit. So in with the silver. So now we're at 46 degrees centigrade, which is 116 Fahrenheit. And I've got my last color, which is the, the white. And again, straight in the top. Right, so I've got my mold. And you see I've already been putting the little scrappy bits in there. But what I'm going to do now is put that in there. Right, now let's get that in the pressure pot. Okay, so it's next day. I've undone the pressure pot. I've released all the air. Let's take the lid off and have a look at it. Oh, 
Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I think I'll take it over to the bandsaw now and cut it up and then we'll have a look at the final blanks. Okay, so there they are. Now I messed up cutting on this a little bit because I've ended up with a really narrow blank, um, but that's fine. I've still got five good ones. Um, I think Paige, was, I was cutting them to 25 mil. Perhaps I should have drawn down to about 22 and then this one would have probably been about the same size. But I've also just put a little bit of water over them um, just so that you can kind of see what they'll look like because they've been through the band saw, so they're a little bit rough. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with the way that that's come out. Um, things to take away from this is I probably should have left the resin to just harden up a little bit more just to get a little bit warmer maybe just another few degrees I think I would have just had a little bit better color separation um, I love the way it's all kind of swirled and edited together that that is really cool um, the other thing would be to make sure that I'd measured the amount of resin properly uh, because I had too much in there for the mold which meant some spilt over the side I couldn't do a proper flip pour um, etc but anyway they've come out really good so hope you've enjoyed it um, leave a comment below let me know what you think about these um, if you've got any other ideas for uh, some pen blanks you'd like me to see me make or some other kind of resin casting leave me a comment below and let me know um, and don't hit that subscribe button if you've not been here before thanks again I'll see you soon